obviously a, a great thing for everybody. You know, coaching staff, players, equipment room, everybody. You know, again, because you learn so many things from year one, schematically, operationally, and then you do those things and say to yourself in the off season, hey, well, how can I improve those things that I didn't do a good enough job on? And you hopefully build off that, and you kind of see some of those things come to fruition, you know, in the spring, which is really encouraging. You know, um, that's the most important thing, I think, of the spring. So it's been, it's been really great. Mick, I was mentioning this to Andre, talking to one of your players recently, yeah. and they referenced how the offensive line plays with Carmen. And I thought that was very interesting. He has been able to really get in with those guys. He's tough, but they love him. He's one of them. What is it about his style that they embrace him as one of their own? He's just not their coach. Uh, well, I mean, Carmen is a phenomenal person. I mean, one of my best friends, so I love Carmen for so long. He's a great coach, a great person. So it's easy about Carmen, because I think he does a couple things. He's honest, and he's hard, he holds players accountable, and he tells them the truth. I think that's the most important thing about coaching is you give the player the truth and you tell them you know, what it is and what it's not. And I think they want that, they deserve that, and I think Carmen does a great job with that. Obviously, Jimmy's not able to get on the field, but as a coaching staff, how do you kind of maximize this time of the year yeah. so that this isn't a wasted point in time for him? You know, I think Jimmy's done a great job of attacking each day like he's got going, going to go out there and practice, right? So the meetings this morning, phenomenal, love working with him, you know, great attitude, and he's locked in every step, you know. He's asking great questions, you know, helping the young guys out, you know, and obviously, you know, him and Brian and Chase have some experience in the system, and then, you know, helping Aiden, Aiden out as he, you know, comes and starts his NFL career and stuff like that. Not just this system, but the NFL system. So, you know, he's been great. Just, you know, I really enjoyed my time with him so far and continue to work for him, you know, to have a great year. You guys added a lot of uh, receivers this offseason. What excites you about guys like Dorset and uh, the Dorset and uh, Sims and, uh, and Carter? Yeah, I mean, DeAndre Carter, Cam Sims, and, you know, Philly Dorset. You know, I was with Philly Dorset back in New England, so obviously with him, had some previous experience with him. You know, um, those guys all work very, very hard. You know, um, they all came here on their visit and they expressed how much they love football and how much they want to be in a culture that kind of has a hard nosed attitude, you know, preaches hard work, dependability, accountability. And I think all those guys have shown up every day trying to do that. Um, that's been the most encouraging part. Um, you know, because obviously every year at Free Agency, you lose guys, you gain guys, but if you can gain good people, that's really the most important thing. I think we did that in the receiver position. Were you guys looking to get faster at that position to add, add more speed to uh, the goals against the Philly Oxford? Yeah, everybody said to get faster. So, I mean, definitely. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, we preach speed and speed, toughness, competitiveness, and, you know, all those things. So, for sure, at any position, we're looking to get improve our skill set, whatever which way it may be. Coach, this is kind of a two parter, but obviously, your first season being offensive coordinator in the last year. Yeah. What was one of the biggest things that you say you learned last year that you're starting to take into this? And also, how cool is it to have your brother as coaching staff now? Yeah, it's great. You know, I mean, um, you know, I love my brother. He's a really hard worker. His, obviously, his career took a different path than mine. Um, and he was available. And, you know, we, we I, I want to get good people, good coaches, and he, he provides that for us. Um, but being with him every day, uh, my son, uh, my, my kids obviously enjoy all of that more than dad, so, you know. Um, but, you know, it's been great to have him. And then obviously, you know, just like I spoke earlier, you know, just as a whole entire thing, you know, going into the first year of anything is difficult, right? You learn so much more than you thought you had to learn. And I really enjoy the process of spring of self-reflecting on the season, self-reflecting on myself, the offense, the team, and just my approach to every day. And I think overall it's been really, really fun to kind of just try and improve that and keep improving that. Coach, can you talk about Dylan Parham's growth going from year one to year two? And what have you seen? I know it's early in the early stages, but what have you seen from him and building up his game as he moves forward? Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with confidence, right? Confidence in knowing what to do and how to do it. I mean, if we rewind a year ago, he was just a rookie, you know, out of Memphis and didn't know a whole lot, you know, and just not even how to practice, first of all. You know, now they've learned how to practice and they know what to do. And mm -hmm. now it's just tweaks and you know, talking about different techniques, and now you can improve the technique because the assignment's taken care of. You know, so when the assignment's taken care of, then you can really hone in on what what can you do a little bit better in terms of technique to get better. And I think Dylan's trying to do a good job of that this spring, improving from year one to year two. Thank Coach, you. sticking with the offensive line, you have yeah. continuity. A lot of those guys have yeah. gone back now. How much does that make them exponentially better because we know that they work kind of in concert with each other more than any position? No doubt, and I think the guys that we added have been, you know, really received very well by the offensive line room. You know, the young, two young rookies and a couple of guys in free agency that we added have done a good job of taking coming in 
and those other guys helping each other out. You know, they see the offensive line sees each other as one, not just of five guys out there at one time. You know, so there's 15 or 16 guys every year in training camp, and you hope to have that in the offensive line room where they're a tight knit group and they help each other out. I think that's what we have, and I think that's what we preach every day. I think Coach Carmen, Coach Cam, you know, do a good job of holding those guys accountable, and they appreciate that. And you know, the, that dependability every day, dependability and toughness, right? We should preach about that a lot. And I think when you have continuity, you know, that can obviously help you get that what you want. Josh, uh, the 